It's spring cleaning time while you're organizing drawers and cleaning closets. This is the perfect time to spruce up your pet. Here with some simple tips to help make your pet look good and stay healthy is our Early Show contributor and our resident veterinarian, Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell. Good morning. Good morning. And the key is to keep them healthy. Exactly. Because a lot of people don't realize that brushing your dog is a key to overall health. Why is that? Absolutely. If you look at here, and we ha this is Nova. Hello, Nova. Who's from the Bayou We Animal Foundation here in New York. So for our New York viewers, Nova does need a home. But if you look behind the ear, I don't know if we can see it right here. There's a big mat of hair right mm -hmm. here. Dogs that don't I'll get brushed get matted. The Mat traps dust, can trap dirt and moisture, which can then cause bacteria to grow right next to the skin, mm. can cause skin infection. Mm. So, so how often do you want to brush? Well, it depends on the dog. Um, but if you have a really thick, double-coated dog with a lot of hair, you want to, like, like Nova, one. yeah, you want to brush every day. And it's okay. important to start, to start at the base of the hair. So if they have really thick hair, what you want to do is separate the hair, mm -hmm. start right at the skin, and then go down. So you get down to those mats and you pull those tangles He's out. He's loving that. Yeah, or is it and a Nova, sheet? actually, this, this is, let me uh, it's it. okay. It's <laughs> Nova actually does love, and if you start when they're young, they get to the, where they really enjoy the enjoy grooming. It, it feels good to them, and it's going to keep their skin very, very can healthy. Can you overbrush? You can overbrush. If you know, for shorter dogs, for dogs that have shorter hair, I should say, uh -huh. or have thin hair, you don't necessarily need to brush them every All day. Right. A couple times a week or once a week might be good for them. For those really short hair dogs like Dalmatians mm -hmm. or Whippets, a nice moist cloth mm, just wiped over them is all so you need. So, what are for all them. these different brushes you, for? You want to match the brush and comb to the type of hair. So if ah. you've got a big, thick, double-coated dog, see all of Nova's hair in there, then you, you want to get uh, a nice comb that's going to get down to the skin. If you have a dog that's got thin hair or fluffy hair, then you want to use a brush so that you don't uh, irritate their skin. Okay, so talk to good. your groomer or your veterinarian about the right implement for the dog. All right, bathing. How often should you bathe the dog? You do not need to bathe the dog every day. They okay. have natural oils on their, skins that on their skin that protects their skin. And so bathing once a week, if you have a dog that's active, that's out in the woods, running with you, swimming Swimming, that kind of thing. For many dogs that really don't get that dirty, mm -hmm. a couple times a year. And do you have That's to use it. doggy shampoo or can I just use baby shampoo? Baby shampoo is just fine. The important thing, I'm so glad you asked that because you really want to stay away from perfumes and added colors that might irritate the skin. Uh -huh. Baby shampoo is perfect for that and you don't need conditioner. Perfect. If you've got a dog with a lot of hair, a detangler might help you. Okay. But that's all you really need. All right. A couple times a year. Let's move on We're to nails keep because clipping here. your nails, if you do it wrong, you can really hurt a dog. You can. They have a very abundant nail supply in their nail bed. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this on camera, but Nova's got these nice light nails and you can see, see where the blood starts right mm -hmm. there? Ugh. So you oh. want to be careful that I you don't clip do down this. into that. If you've never clipped your dog's nails, have your veterinarian okay. or groomer help okay. you with that. And we've got all kinds of little clippers you want to just clip just a little tip off to get the sharp edge okay. off. That's it. And they also have this product out that um, files the nail down. So if you're afraid that you're going to clip too far, mm -hmm. you can use this little file. You put it on. I'm not going to turn it on because it's really, really loud, but you just put the nail mm -hmm. in there. Nova's giving you cut kisses, and it will file down very gently. Mm. I've heard varying reports on how effective okay. this is, so you just kind of have to try it out. All right, the other go. thing that I want to demonstrate with Nova before we let Nova go is the ears. Mm -hmm. Now, Maggie, look in these ears right here. You see Let's your ears, see. Nova. Can you see in there? What does that look like to it you? It looks clean and pink. Yes, right? isn't that nice? I'll do it on this side so our viewers can see. It's nice, clean, pink. There's no dirt, no wax, no no, no vermin in there. Mm -hmm. That's how a dog's <laughs> ear should look. And if you smell it, you shouldn't really smell anything. Okay. A, a, a odiferous ear, a stinky ear means something's is a dirty going or on. Is a dirt, a dirty or sick ear. And okay. so you just want to get a nice ear wash. They make mm -hmm. plenty of them. You soak it, soak a, a, a cotton ball okay. with it, and you just just wipe it out. No Q-tips. Very gently. No Q-tip. Okay. That's a little too small. You want to do a big cotton ball, All right. and you just wipe out the outer part of the ear. You don't want to go too deep okay. in there. If it needs a deeper cleaning, then take them to the veterinarian. We have a couple seconds. So okay. Let's do the, the, the quickly the tooth brushing with our cocker spaniel. Come on in, buddy. And then Ooh, this you're is beautiful. Yes, thank you, Alice. Beautiful. This is Lucky, and I'm going to use the little finger puppets here. Okay. Would, the big thing that I want to say about brushing your dog's teeth, you should, first of all, they need to be professionally clean at least once a year all right. and brushed at least once a week. All right. Use a doggy toothbrush, not human toothbrush, because dogs don't spit. Uh. And all you have to do is put the toothbrush or the little tooth puppet on, Lucky, in there. Here we go. You just put it right under the lip. Lucky's like, nah, all right. I'm not feeling like it. You just put it under there. You brush a little bit, and it can prevent heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, because mm. bad teeth can lead to a sick dog. All right. Very Thank important. Thank you so much, doggies and Debbie. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.